So here are some of the major components that we needed to get the to start working on the tennis robot in terms of programming and so on. So first we have the stepper motor controller or the motor driver controller. And this basically takes the input voltage and converts it into the necessary types of voltages needed to run the stepper motor in a certain way. And that will be controlled by the um, Arduino. So the Arduino will send certain signals to the stepper motor driver which will then take that and split it into certain voltages and send those voltages to the various um, motors. Right? Um, this one will take the input voltage, in our case, um, well in my case 110 volts, and step it down and convert it from AC to DC, 24 volts. Um, it can go between 12 and 36 volts I believe, but in my case I want 24 volts. And um, we have this which is just a, this is just a, a monitor, this is just so that you could see what the um, well, it's not just a monitor, it's also a step-down um, module as well. So this can actually convert your uh, your input voltage to 12 volts, but it's not for AC voltage, right? This is, um, like for example, if I was using a battery that was 36 volts and I wanted to step it down to 12 volts, I could do that with this module. But in my case, I'm just using it to see um, to see in real time what the um, current amperage draw is. Right, and then this is to couple the motors to the shafts. Uh, right, and these are the stepper motors, of course. And this is. Um, I have to show you guys actually Robojax, another YouTube channel. I was looking at one of his videos and he was showing how to actually convert these um, controllers to not have to use this potentiometer but rather just be controlled directly from the Arduino, which is what I needed. So it's actually a motor controller. This is for the bigger motors that I'll also show you. Um, I bought the the driver motors from eBay. The two main motors that spin the wheels to shoot out the tennis ball. Yeah, I bought that on eBay and this is needed to control that. Um, this is needed to control those motors. So here's the motor that I decided to get for the tennis robot. Now, the specs of this motor you, when you're looking for online, you can either get you can either get a CNC motor or you can get this one. Um, this one is 5,500 revs per minute, revolutions per minute. So it states, but in my testing, it's not that high. It's about 4,800, 4,700 around there at 24 volts. If you're powering it by 12 volts, so it'll be less. It'll be 3,500 rpm or something like that. So, oh, well, 3000 RPM, and in my testing it's probably less than 3000. Anyway, so yeah, so we're going with 5500 RPM. Now, another reason why I wanted the 24 volts is also because the torque, right, the torque that we need to be able to shoot out the tennis ball, it needs to be strong enough, you know, to shoot the ball far enough. And in this case, I wonder if I can find it here, it's supposed to be 4 kilograms or oh, five kilograms right five kilograms of force per centimeter which is really good um, i'm looking for around four so the fact that it says five is even better now um i'm sure somebody could correct me if i'm wrong but uh kilogram force per centimeter really means for every centimeter away from the motor itself like the base of the motor for every one centimeter in this case five kilograms of force would be applied and of course you put away from the motor the less amount of torque is applied so in this case five kilograms of force per centimeter is quite good um, for this type of project it will mean that you'll be getting quite a bit of force or the tennis ball will be getting quite a bit of force behind it being shot out right so yeah so we have all we 
we went ahead and ordered all of these and yeah let's let's move on to the next clip where i can show you guys um, what i have so far running All right, guys. So check this out. So the oscillation motor is working. All right. So like, say I want the mo the machine to be going left, right, left, right, left, right down the court. Uh, this one is the ball hopper. So this one is rotating continuously to you know feed the balls down the shoot. This one, well, this one is just for testing right now, but this one is supposed to be the angle stepper motor. So this one, I have to program it so that it increases or decreases angle based on whatever button the user presses. So I have to deal with that later. And of course, this is one out of the two um, motors that will um, shoot the ball out. So um, I'm just testing one right now, but if I get one working, um, I could get both working simply just by um, adding in some more code so yeah it looks like I have everything working so far looks good and we're only drawing 0 0.06 amps which is really good because when it's running on battery um, you want it to be sipping on that um, you know those amps you don't want it to be you know pulling a set of amps and then you know drain out your battery real quick so yeah 0.06 is pretty good. It's better than um, I, ex I expected, actually. Um, all the wiring and so on, I'll put it in the description for you guys so you can check it out. Ah boy! Let's go!